What's up YouTube? In today's video, first of all, it's not an install video, but it's still important. If you have a lowered Mustang, you need to have these uh, bump steers on your car, but most people don't have them. Check out the video. This 50 go. I told you to not drink and drive. What's up YouTube? We're back at it again. Just got a package dropped off and what we have here is my Maximum Motorsports Bump Steers. Let's get these bad boys opened up and see what's inside. The instructions. I guess the hardware. I'm assuming these are the actual bump steers. And that's it. I don't know if you remember in the previous video I did. I don't know if it was when I was doing a BMR arms or whatever. I had some Stadia or Stetter, however you say it, bump steers. But just couldn't figure those out. So I wind up selling those on Craigslist. And um, so this time I'm going to try to go with the, uh, what is it called? Maximum Motorsports uh, ones. But this time I'm going to take it to the shop and have them do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to alignments and all this crazy mess. So I'm just going to take it to uh, take it over to the shop. So I'm not even going to open this up. I'm going to have them do, the, do it all because I don't want nothing to go wrong. And they say they're missing pieces and it's already open and whatnot. So let's head on over there to the shop and get it installed. Alright, we're here at a Sack Speed Garage here in South Sacramento. Let's go in and see what's going on. All right, just had to give them a little bit of information, and now we just play the waiting game. All right, let's go inside and wait. All right, this is the mechanic right here who's going to be doing the work on the car today. Um, hey, how's it going? So we're doing the bump steers on this 50 Go. Uh, let us know if you want anything done on your car. Our Instagram is Sack Speed Garage. Feel free to hit us up for anything. All right, there you go. You heard it from him. All right, I'll let you go back to work. All right, man. Well, it's uh, shit, a little bit after one, three hours later, I'm still here waiting on my car to get done. I don't understand what's taking so long. But, uh, uh, uh. If I'd have known all this, I'd have just got dropped off. I came back and got it. Alright, so here are the um, Maximum Motorsports bump steers that they installed. Now, I guess the problem they were having, and my old mechanic had too when he was trying to do my studios or something, was all this BMR stuff that either this is uh, it's too long. So I guess they either have, it's either too long or too short. So they either cut something off to get more room so they can add the uh, bump stairs in. So um, what I did was um, I bought another set, you know, just in case, you know, it don't didn't work or whatever. So I got a brand new, new uh, set of lower inner tie rods that I kept. But these are my old ones and they, uh, I guess they filed them down and re-thread them or whatever and they got it to work. Alright, here's a little better look of what I was trying to tell you. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to see in the plastic, but let's just say you put it, everything the same length, it's like, it's this, this would be too long to do any adjustments on the uh, bump steer. So what they had to do was uh, get this and cut it down a little bit and re-thread it so you had some room to to make adjustments. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I don't know why you would have to do that, but the second mechanic I took it to it and they were having problems with it. And they, uh, you know, that's what they came up with. 
And like I said, uh, I had to buy some extra ones just in case it didn't work. But they figured it out. The alignment's good. Tires are still good. About five months later, I mean, car's dirty as hell, but it works. So I highly recommend if you're lowered more than an inch and a half, two inches, that you get some bump steers because I'm sure you all experienced it and didn't understand it, but when you're driving down the street or on the freeway or something, you hit a little hole or crack in the freeway and your car wants to pull to the left or the right, like hella hard and shit, that's because uh, you need these bump steers. Um, like I said, I didn't do no driving a long video or nothing like that because, I mean, you know, you can't see it working. You just know it's working when you hit bumps and stuff like that. So I do highly recommend uh, getting you some bump steers, you know. And um, I don't know why, you know. I talked to a couple other people who had the BMR set up, and they said they didn't have no problems getting them installed. But I took them to my own friend who's a mechanic at his shop, you know, who normally gives me, does it for free or dirt cheap. He couldn't figure out, so I said, I'll take it to a different shop this time. And they couldn't get it to work neither without, you know, making it, doing some custom uh, stuff to make it fit. So hopefully you don't have that problems. And if you do, you know, do what I just said in the video. Anyway, you know the routine. Hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at This50Go. Don't drink and drive. And until next time, peace. Yeah.